Okay, Star Trek Online. Let's see. Let's see how far I can get before my son comes out of his room. Every parent knows right when you put the kid to bed, they want to come out this room on computer virus is giving times. me a bad feeling about things. With Jamula and House Mokai involved, I think we're looking at a serious new effort to capture or destroy high-value Starfleet targets, ships, personnel, even entire planets. Let's rendezvous with the Varen as fast as we're able. That virus is already in her systems, and after what we just dealt with, I'm guessing the Klingons aren't done with my ship just yet. Okay. Well, that definitely is a long journey, isn't it? Start this up. Turn up the volume. Seems to be taking a while to load. Other missions have been loading a lot faster. Grand trouble. Those Klingons won't stop until she's gone. We need to get in there before it's too late. Okay. Mayday, Mayday, this is the USS Moran. We're taking heavy fire and need immediate assistance. Ah, you've come to save your comrades. Warning, ship is under attack. Well, they're already attacking, so I'm going to skip the dialogue. Looks like we picked up some more Klingon attention. Full shields. Drain some shields. Boost them down.
some ground stuff. We'll reach the edge of the storm soon. Don't spare the horses, Commander. I've had a lot of days better than this one. Enjoy yourself, Anson. But those of us who didn't grow up on an ice moon aren't as amused. Emergency survival protocol. Break out the gear and supplies and find shelter. I don't want this weather finishing with the Klingon started. Some of that might be useful here. We should keep an eye out for anything we can easily salvage. Okay. Aw, uh, where are they going? Oh, made it. Takes guts to beam into a cave with an emergency transporter mostly held together with wishful thinking. Now, we just need to get there ourselves. Fashion, Jake's man, through a frozen waste. You take me to all the best places, Ellen. We're complaining. At least you survived. Should we worry about leaving tracks that the Klingons can follow? See those ice formations. Temperatures get high enough to thaw, then refreeze. So, the snow will probably melt enough to lose our tracks in the next few hours. Right, and if it stays cold and humid, we'll get more snow anyway. I don't think it'll matter if the uh, ice melts because it's not like it's a, a gymnasium of pathways here. It's really just one pathway. You can't really get lost on any of these Star Trek missions. Wait. 
You see those mounds of snow? Some of them are just going to be light powder. Some of those were built. Watch your spell. There might be life forms in those. They might not like unwanted guests. Well, if you're looking for life forms on the snow Kerwin's planet... Team. My tricorder says there's a piece of the shuttle manifold near your position. Grab it if you can, okay? We could really use it. The first signs of civilization on a snow planet would be yellow snow, right? Ah, it stung me. Ah, jeez. Holy jeez, they just keep coming, eh? Get away. Scorpions on a snow planet. Now I've seen everything. We got your widget, Kerwin. Never mind the beasties. Good work. Keep it coming. We're gonna need a lot more tricks to survive. Uh, there we go. This is one of those things I occasionally have to do. If your keybinds change, I usually just open up my keybinds, click RPG, click Shooter, click OK. And usually that puts everything back. Didn't seem to do it this time though. Not entirely. Is the guy who just two minutes earlier said that you can't really get lost on these maps.
Yeah, it's a yeah, thing. I think it's another piece of the shuttle. What are these marks in the ice? Tracks of some kind? It's big, whatever it is. Let's not wait to find out more. Why not? Aren't you curious? Didn't you go to space to explore strange new creatures? Never thought I'd be happy to see a cave, but here we are. I can almost feel my toes again. This was a good choice. Defensible position, adequate shelter, picking up some water inside as well. Might be able to cobble up some fortifications by carving out some rock. Looks like they're a little deeper in the cave. Find out curve. We could go in the cave if you'd stop talking. together out of rocks, a hypo spray casing, and a belt box. stable for now. His medical unit is functioning normally, and he didn't suffer any further wounds during the crash. Some good news for a change. Nice work, everyone. Let's set up camp. Kerwin, see if there's a way to send a coded distress beacon. To Pat, we need to know if there's anything we can use to survive around here. fire. Sorry, sorry. The heated rock. I'm mixing up some nutrient broth from our supplies. Not the best smelling stuff that will keep us alive. We're gonna need a lot of calories in this weather, so we should try to find more food if we can. Cheeseburgers, got it. Well, we've already seen some wildlife. We're likely to find some edible fungi or mosses in the caves. Maybe some root vegetation. I don't know if I'd want to nibble on anything more complex. Contents could be dangerous to us. So where did we land on the cheeseburgers? Ah, good morning. I'm still working on this transmitter. It's pretty banged up, I'm afraid. If only we had some more spare parts. I'll make it. And to think, I was considering becoming a hollow novelist before I joined Starfleet. Good thing I picked up a few skills with transmitters and recorders. Well, if you're serious about going out in that cold again, keep 
Keep your eyes peeled for metal ores and deposits. Anything with magnesium, sulfur, or other reactive ores. Stuff like that. Stuff we can burn. Speaking of ores, we could also use magnetic or radioactive ores. Those I can use for primitive power cells. Okay, well let me just go look for this ice planet for that grocery store list of stuff you want. Doing the rounds, eh? Making sure your team's ready for what's ahead. Good call. I'd do the same. What's ahead? Yeah! Not a lot of good news there. Stranded on a frozen rock, no rescue in sight, and the sky belongs to the Klingons right now. Klingons! Beginning to wish I'd never laid eyes on them. That's racist. Good point. The captain's still alive, and I'm now Commander Patel. Still with me. Still with us. Starfleet trains us to deal with adversity. We'll figure something out. For now, let's see if we can scrape what we need to survive from this rock while we're here. Look at this ice hole. What's up here? Oh, come on, let me explore, damn it. I joined Starfleet to explore, but I keep getting stuck on invisible walls. Losing the brand. Sure. The rifle. I'll upgrade you and I'll the take the rifle. Important thing that they give us is each other. 23. 7. Yeah. I'm not a fan of the full model. That's not right. They're both full autos? That one. That's the one I want. Usually I give myself the most powerful weapon, but I really don't like the full autos. They just have a it's it's just a lot of spray and pray. Take the high ground. I learned that from Obi Wan. Gimme. Reset. Get out! What are you doing up? Get the bridge officers with the IQ of a turd. You guys deal with that guy. Gonna be cutting it close. Nope, that didn't work. Oof, I'm dying. And that's what God made headphones for. Let's get out of here. Oh, 
Well, I think you just jinxed it. I hope none of those went to exactly where we need to go. People could be dead. Oh, good. Wait till you see what I've done with the cave. What you got there? Magnesite? Ah, indium. We can use that. I'll, I'll take those off your hands. The indium can give us some power. Just don't loiter around it. It's radioactive. I can probably use the magnesite to make some explosive charges. You know, just in case. You always need explosive charges. Explosives? In a cave like this, that, uh, that's not one of your best ideas, Kirkman. Even if we don't collapse it on our heads, we'd probably trap ourselves. We'd be stuck, unless we could burn a new way out with our phasers. Sealing off the cave entrance and finding another way out is superior to being devoured by those ice creatures you mentioned. Put the explosives near the tunnel entrance. See if you can rig up a remote detonator. Better to have the option of not need it than to need it and not have it. I should have just enough parts to make a short-range radio detonator for the explosives. I can work on that while someone else sets up these canisters. With the magnesium as an accelerant, and some of the gel thruster fuel from the shuttle, they'll go up once a charge is applied to them. Klingon's going to get that distress signal first? Hold on. If we use the beacon, won't the Klingons receive the signal too? Oh. They're still trying to find us. They'll know exactly where we are once we turn that on. This cozy little cave will be crawling with Klingons sooner than any of us would like once that happens. Well, good thing I said explosives, huh? None, unfortunately. We turn it on, and it'll be out there for all to see, friend and foe alike. We're hoping that Federation ships at Pryor's room will hear it and respond before the Klingons do. It's a risk, but one we need to think about taking soon. Agree. They know we crashed. And unless they gave up the chase, they're still out there. 
and they will come running the moment they detect this beacon. Count on it. So, we need to be ready to deal with them and buy ourselves enough time for Starfleet to get here and extract us from this godforsaken ice ball. To a point, they'll eventually bottle us in and use grenades or chemicals. We have to make it too costly for them to hunt us down. Catch them before they catch us. Ambush them. Here's the plan. They'll beam down at the shuttle wreckage and start searching from there. Their teams will eventually track our route so we hit them on the way. We'll ambush them at the snowdrifts and fall back fighting our way towards the cave. Make them pay for every meter. We don't have to stop them, just slow them down long enough for Starfleet to reach us. Let's take a position by the fumaroles and make the Klingons come to us. I mean, I guess that plan works. I'd pretty much put the beacon inside those explosive acid pit things that I was in. Remember, the Klingons can't be beaten. Klingons can't be beaten. Seize every opportunity. opportunity. Give no quarter. Fight hard and fight to win. Yes, sir. A woo. Turn burglars in now. There's dead.
ไหนเ
Oh. Well, I died, so I can talk for help, and hopefully she can get here to help me. There we go. Still magically alive with me, no matter what mission. Do it! Steal all the address! Damn! I know that look. What's wrong? Kerwin had it. What? Kerwin had the remote detonator. Make another one then. Make another one. <laughs> okay. Options, Commander. Bringing me back to the old new Romulus days. Something with a tricorder. Maybe? I don't know. What the hell? Officer, it's dead. Don't worry, it'll be on the ship waiting for me. Ooh, steam. It's quite the nice ice hole you got there, sir. Can we jump? Probably. Make sure we're ready when they do. Or well, they could just beam to the other side of the cave. Get in. Give me options, people. What's up, your name? Breaking through. Don't give up the chase easy. Let them come. I'll take as many of them with me as I can. You okay here? Captain Lorca. Oh, we lost you. Lack of trying. My people and I need an immediate extraction. Sometime later. Okay. That's a pretty ship. Law, Commander Ellen Landry. She's been gone for months. And every day I'm reminded of her. I even have her job now. Chief of security. I took it to honor her. To continue her work. To keep people safe. The captain's recovered from his injuries, mostly. His eyes don't handle the light very well. But like me, he forges on. 
this war. The Klingons. They've taken so much from us both. For me. For the captain. Only duty remains. <laughs> she said duty. Sounds like it's ending their story arc. Let's see what. It's over. You did what you could. We all did. This time it wasn't enough. Not for everyone. I've heard from the surgeons at Starfleet Medical. They're optimistic about the captain's recovery. Though it's looking like he might have permanent damage to his eyes. Could have been a lot worse. They let me speak to him for a while, and he asked me to pass his thanks along to you. I'm glad he's still with us. We're gonna need officers like him to get through this war. Officers who are willing to do what must be done to stop the Klingons, no matter what the cost. Congratulations. I already have one of those. Purchase skills. I can do skills now. So I can skill myself in ground, space, engineering, science, tactical. There's a whole bunch of different options, different ways you can treat your character to be whatever you want it to be. But I will deal with that next time. And next will be secrets. I did get some dilithium, so that's cool. Is this useful for us? Exception. I'd rather have shield regeneration at this point of my low level. Alright, so that pretty much does it.